it's really important to understand the nutrition labels that are on our foods. They could be misleading simply because of the way we interpret the facts that are on them. I have some Ritz Hint of Salt crackers. Cut the label off. Went down to my office max store this morning and had it blown up. It's a perfect label to show you. There are a lot of low sodium videos and recipes on YouTube and on your search engine. We just can't always believe what we see. Some of them I look at and I think, how can they call this low sodium? And then towards the end I find out why they can do that. I found some zero sodium meatloaf, chicken soup, all kinds of stuff. It all has natural sodium in the ingredients. The ones that I really looked at the most is Mexican food because my husband loves his enchiladas. I've been able to tweak my recipe so that he can have them. But we're going to look at the nutrition label. Well, we've got the label off from of Ritz crackers. Nutrition facts. 24 servings per container. Serving sizes. 5 crackers. The next thing it tells you is how many calories are in each serving. Each one. Our next section from total fats including protein are items that we need to limit in our day. The bottom ones from the dark down to the next one are items that we want to make sure we get enough of. Now we've got this little column over here that has percent on it and it's called percent of daily value. This is based on three things. The first one is that we don't consume any more than 2,000 calories a whole day. And that we are a healthy adult. If we look at this, our sodium is 1%. On the daily value list, that provides for 25 100 milligrams of sodium every day. I don't know anybody who's been told to watch their sodium that the doctor says you can go up to 2,500 milligrams a day. Many people are at 600. Some at 12, some at 15. A couple people I ran into was 2,000, but no more than that. If you're over 51, Federal guidelines say to keep your sodium under 1,500 milligrams a day. Well, and this kind of explains to me why some of the folks that are doing the low sodium videos think they're cooking low sodium. The enchilada videos that I watch, the author is proud to say. I'm using 5% cheese. Well, we live in Phoenix. I've gone to every major store that I can think of. Cannot find any cheese I can use for enchiladas that are under 7%. If I could find 5%, it would have less sodium than what I'm using. If you've got any, please let me know what kind it is. And the same thing with flour tortillas. The video says they're using 3%. Oh boy, I'd like to find some of those. The lowest I could find is 11%. That would mean that if we consume no more than 2,000 
calories a day, 33% of our sodium, if we could have 2,500 milligrams a day, would be just in the tortillas. In three tortillas, because that's about how many enchiladas we'd eat. So if you check around your refrigerator and you find flour tortillas that are 3%, please leave me a comment. I I'd sure like to know where you found them and what kind they are. I'm finding that a lot of the low-sodium videos will put things like that in there, but they won't tell you what kind they're using or where they get it. We make zero sodium tortillas. In my Learn Low Sodium Mexican Cooking and Recipe course that is available on Udemy. Udemy.com U-D-E-M-Y dot com Please subscribe to my channel. We'll put a new tip or a new recipe, or both, every Friday. And if you want to be notified, click the little bell. When I put something on there, you'll get a little ding, and you won't miss a thing. Folks that have to watch their sodium simply cannot go by the percent of daily value. Very few people are going to consume just 2,000 calories a day. Low sodium people cannot have 2,500 milligrams a day. And it's based on a healthy adult. We may be healthy in every other way, but we have to watch our sodium. That does not account for that. So please, kind of just forget about this column down here because it does not apply to us in every recipe in every course that I ever do has got the ingredient how much I used the amount of sodium in each ingredient tallied down at the bottom so we can look at it and see how much sodium is in the whole pot pan whatever I'm doing and how much is in each serving. That's what we need. Any kind of video that does not tell you how much sodium is in the end product is not something that we want to make unless we've looked up every ingredient. Happy cooking!